Welcome to our CEC office in Warsaw, where I'm joined here today with Stanisław Pietrzak, our Head of Intelligence. And today, after an extraordinary election on Sunday, uh, with a 51.3 percentage turnout, um, we'll ask Stanisław about his insights uh, into the election results. Um, Stanisław, who won and who lost? Well. Hi, Victor, first of all. Um, thank you. And uh, let's just say what the election was about, maybe, at first. This was uh, a local election, yes. first of all. So um, immensely important in view of that, that this is the last local governments on the last bastion of uh, the civic platform. It's the only part of the government where law and justice doesn't rule. Uh, the second part, of course, is that this is the first election in three years' time. This is a litmus test for the past two years of the Law and Justice government, and uh, it is a sign of what's to come in this upcoming election season because we're going to have the European elections in uh, spring 2019, the parliamentary elections in autumn 2019, and the presidential race in 2020. So this election was important on two fronts. And in terms of uh, who won, who lost, it's not that easy to say. Uh, nominally, the Law and Justice Party uh, won. It has the most votes uh, percentage-wise for regional assemblies. That is, I believe, 30... 32.3. But uh, the Law and Justice Party only gained uh, 4%, according to exit polls. Well, it's still a gain in terms of councillors. But as you say, uh, Law and Justice were expecting a much uh, bigger win this time around. All the polls leading up to the vote showed that uh, Yaroslav Kaczynski's party will take more votes. So this is quite a disappointment and quite a win, let's say, for the civic coalition. So that is the civic platform of Grzegorzkietyna and the modern party, Novoczesna, under uh, Katarzyna Lubnauer, which have formed this civic coalition and which have now tested it and showed that it works, that they can present a united front uh, and that they will probably go on to use the same platform, if not even extend it, in the 2019 uh, parliamentary election. And of course, the civic platform won uh, in there where it holds the most power, in cities, in largest Polish cities, with the most notable example of uh, Warsaw. The exit poll shows 54%, 54%, 54 for P.O.'s Rafał Trzaskowski, meaning that he will most probably, if the exit poll is confirmed, uh, go on to become the president of Warsaw. Uh, this is extraordinary because Patrick Yaki, as commented, has said, uh, the, the peace candidate, uh, he has led a great campaign. Uh, many say that he has out-campaigned Trzaskowski, and Trzaskowski has won in the first round. This is a huge hit for law and justice, a very symbolic hit as well, because Warsaw was meant to be the first take in what was going to be a huge election season win for them. And Trzaskowski, a previous minister of digitization under the PO government, a previous MEP, is now going to become the face of success that can possibly uh, give extra momentum to the opposition. Back in 2014, in regional assemblies, peace ruled in only one regional assembly. Uh, it had a, a majority uh, in five, but ruled only in one. Uh, how would you comment on the results in 2018? Uh, so perhaps maybe not the majority, but they were the top party in five of them. And they, have, uh, they are right now the top party in uh, nine, I believe, out of 16 Polish uh, voivodeships. So they are likely to take, uh, take government and take local governments, l uh, regional assemblies in more than one voivodeship. This is, of course, up to the coalition talks, uh, which are only going to, I think, be finalized sometime in November. Uh, so peace has some chances to take two, three, uh, I don't know how many more, it is currently 9 a.m. on Monday, so we still have to wait for these more official uh, results. Uh, but it has a chance to talk to the independents, which gained uh, a reasonable score. It has a chance to talk to um, uh, the Cookies Party, which uh, fared worse than in 2015, but also, uh, okay, of course, the biggest winner, the third winner, because everybody is a winner in this election, is the agrarian uh, PSL, the Peasants Party which has gained, I believe, 16% of the votes. Yes. Following the results of 5% in the previous parliamentary election, this is a huge win 
but of course PSL has been the strongest in local governments. The entire law and justice campaign was directed against PSL and rural rural, rural areas. Uh, so this, this PSL score is indeed uh, a very good one. Um, like you said, every party is a winner in these local elections. Um, how do you believe uh, the results will translate to the strategi strategies, policies of major political parties for the upcoming months and potentially well, years? Law and justice has to change its strategy somewhat. Uh, what it has done well, it has indeed dominated rural regions. Uh, PSL is going to do a little bit worse probably in the upcoming uh, two elections. Um, Grzegorz Schetyna has been cemented as the leader of the opposition, so now we will have to see whether other parties, other movements, uh, join the united opposition. And law and justice has to rethink its strategy. Commentators are already saying that there will be some changes, some moves. This is still not certain, but Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki has been weakened by this election, even though he said there has been a victory. Uh, it is only a nominal victory. Uh, and some moves are, are likely because he was the face of the campaign across uh, Poland. And last question, uh, left-wing parties, how did they do in the local elections? Um, not as well as they hoped for. Uh, the three left-wing parties, so that is the Democratic Left Alliance, SLD, the Together Party and the Greens, uh, joint together they have less than 10%. So SLD was meant to make a resurgence in this election and hasn't managed to get that local support, uh, which is a huge sign for what's to come. Uh, there might be some sort of change on the left. Of course, as you know, Robert Biedron, the mayor of Swupsk, uh, the current mayor of Swupsk, uh, is rallying a new political movement. He will try to get a left-wing coalition and possibly change the face of the Polish left after this this bad score in the local elections of all the, all the left-wing parties. Well, thank you very much for that, Stan. It was a very interesting insight. Thanks. We'll probably have another update as the official results are out and following uh, after November 4th, where the second yes. round yes. takes yes. place. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.